I'm telling you, yesterday was crazy. Look at this. Are you near coin? Sasa, she wants to remove it, but I don't want. Anyway, when I take my zuri, sasa. Nasa ili uli se ma biya timparu mudogo. Eh, when mudogo, unaka mudogo. La muaka iyo yote mi mi apa. Sasa na kwa munga me kujali ya mambo maga mungi sana. Sasa, okay, that is her. She is very happy. Okay. Bye bye mom. So you've given us some. Hey, 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 hey. All right. What's up? What's up, beautiful people? Uh, good morning from this particular place. This is Kibe, and welcome to Why Not Kibe. And uh, today is a very beautiful day, coming straight from a town called Mugotio. Mugotio. Mugotio is still in Baringo County, but I guess it will be the last town in Baringo County. Yes, because we'll be proceeding this way, and this way goes to a place called Nakuru, which will be Nakuru County. Which will be our uh, county number five, I guess. So, yeah, guys, welcome to today. Uh, thank you so much for clicking into this video. Um, just fresh from the shower, <laughs> feeling good, feeling nice. And uh, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the room that I'm in. I'm staying in a room where it is located in a gas station, mostly because of the security of my bike and so many other things. And uh, I feared, the, of course, I feared town because of that. So guys, welcome to today. Today is a cool day. We'll see how we'll do, we'll go about it. But first, we have a crazy story. Guys, yesterday was an amazing day. Let me say this. Yesterday, yesterday was an amazing day because we saw some very, very amazing phenomena. We saw these amazing coast springs, salt springs, you know guys. It was really amazing. Until guys, the time when I was now going back, my friends, the road was hectic. The road was hectic. The rocks were too much. Going ahead, the rains were coming in. Look at the evidence. <laughs> Look at this. This is my trouser. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yesterday, coming back was crazy. Although, like, it was so fun, but I couldn't. Fail. I could not film because one, it was past past six forty in the p.m. or past six thirty in the p.m. You know, so it was dark. I could not really like film a lot. So the roads were good. I mean, the the, the bumpiness was too much, and the distance was long. You know, because. You remember I had to take like a whole circuit. Like the distance from here to that place is 60 kilometers. So I had to cover like 30 kilometers in rough road and hills and crazy terrains. Road diversions, roads under construction, crossing rivers, mud, sliding. But I didn't fall down. I didn't fall down. Sliding. Eh, 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 eh. It was a crazy way back, you know. So I had two experiences of my chain falling out. The chain of Antarctica came out, you know. It was loose, it was a little bit loose, so I was like, I will tighten it after I arrive at the next destination. But now, I didn't expect that terrain to be that way. The terrain was hilly, crazy. So the chain came in the middle of the reserve. Hey, I was like shocked, I was like, now, and you know that reserve, we were told there's hyenas, there's leopards. So the first chain came out there. I was, because it was the first time, it was my first experience uh, chain coming out of the bike. And mind you, I'm in the middle of a reserve, or a desert. A reserve, man, or a bush. I just pray God, I fixed, and the chain came. And, and I mean, the chain was okay. I proceeded on. Still aiming towards the exit of the park. I strived coming slowly and very slowly. 
until I reached the southern exit. I entered through the northern, so I was supposed to go round and exit through the southern exit. It was long, it was long. But eventually I reached the gate, the gate was closed, nobody was there. I left the gates, and like 200 meters, and the chain came off again, because it was loose. Yeah, it was loose. It came off again. I fixed it. That was quite fast, I fixed it. And then I now came slowly, and the distance from that particular area to this particular town. Oh my god. I was wondering why am I not reaching? Why am I not arriving? But I liked the trip. It was so 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 it was so like I like how involving it was. I like all the extremeness that it had, you know. So you had to cross there is the river. So I think for this place to be see this I crossed the river, this the last point. Uh, I reached a point where there was these are the motorbike guys who had crossed just had just crossed the, the river. There's no bridge, the river. So I asked them, how deep is the river? They are like, uh, it's not that deep, you can just cross it. I was like, okay, I, actually, I can cross it. I crossed it. I dipped <laughs> up to this level. It was, I, I entered into some ditch, but I didn't stuck. I revved. I revved, I, I revved and I came out. So coming out again, I came out and the chain out. And now the chain, and then I moved ahead a little bit. So me moving ahead, or rather me moving in front after the chain has already come off, made the chain tight inside, like outside the, the chain sprocket. You know that thing? Yes. So. I just had to do things. It, that, that, took, that took me like 10 minutes to fix it, but I fixed it. But that was the last time the chain came off. I came very slowly and came very well up to this town. So I arrived at Mogotio. There was a junction over there. I arrived some 200 meters over there. I went to the town looking for a place to stay. There was no good place until I saw... I was now like, let me find a petrol station in a place like this. And very nice, I found this place. So it was quite a day, it was quite a very... I liked it though, but it was like... It was like... Uh, it was like... What do I say? Not, not traumatizing, it was like... You could put in some fear because of the dark and you are in no man's land. I remember arriving at a certain mid, small shopping centre and I'm like, Oh, now I have, I've arrived, this is Mogotillo. I was told, bruh, no, you still have to go follow this tarmac for like... 10 kilometers still get to Mogotillo. I'm like, what? I'm not yet there. But the good thing thing was it was a tarmac and it was nice. Yes. But finally all is good, all is nice. I really like it. It was very I loved it. It was adventurous. It was it was nice. So what is going to happen today? I'm gonna fix Antarctica. I'm gonna go wash Antarctica. I'm gonna take you down there guys and see how dirty she is. Like dirty. Look at my boots. This was yesterday's experience. I don't know if you guys can see. This is yesterday's experience. Yes, this is my boots. You see, this is water splash. Water, water splash. I, it was a good experience, to be honest. Me, I liked it. Uh, I can't lie, but now I was like afraid for a minute. What if you are stuck? Look, look, guys. So this one will be washed. I need it to be washed. Look, this is where the water splashed. You see, this whole splash of water because my boots had been tucked in up to somewhere here. So imagine all this was outside. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So that was that. Really liked it. No problem. Thank you so much, guys, for the support you're giving. Why not keep it? And kindly watch my videos. Uh, I want to be filming those extreme moments. It was, I was to film it, but the, mo the prison was darkness, and you could not really see it well. Yeah. So that was that, guys. Anyway, welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna go wash Antarctica, fix the chain. If I find the right oil that I use, I'll change the oil. And yeah, just see what the day got for us. And eat. I haven't eaten yesterday. I didn't eat. I came, tried to find an hotel. No open hotel. And nowadays I don't trust, I don't just eat from random hotels. I, my, 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 my stomach is really very sensitive. When I eat something weird a little bit, I get 
Accept. Yes, guys, welcome to today. So, we must see people here in Mogotio. I can see there's some homes over there. I don't know how we'll reach them. But first, let's deal with Antarctica and then everything will come after that. Isn't it? Yes, guys, kindly hit that like and welcome to today's video. First, let me take you guys on a room tour of this particular house. This house is really, really amazing. It's a room, uh, a single room. It's a single room. And there are two options. One option is you get a room with a self-contained uh, washrooms and bathroom. Another option is you get a room without the two. But you get it outside the room. Yeah, you know, I guess you know what I mean. So welcome to the house. This is a balcony. It has a balcony. This is the first time I'm getting a room with a balcony. This room costed 800 Kenyan shillings, which is like uh, six US dollars. Of five US dollars. Let me give it five US dollars. Five US dollars. So this is the room. I don't know if everything is in place. Yes. So this is basically the room. This is the window. I like it. I like how using some cool. I hate windows with grills and stuff. So yeah, this is quite good and open. It has a good net. Yesterday I had some experience with mosquitoes, but the net came through for me. Very nice bed. Uh, this is how I spread my bed. Uh, I, I don't know it. I'm gonna stay here for one more night. Tomorrow I'm gonna leave. A TV. The TV is showing just local stations. A uh, small closet over here. My computer. My internet. My speaker. A bag. A stuff for a jacket. A jacket is also somewhat dirty, but not so dirty as the trouser. Yeah, that is that uh, trash can. This is a pedal bin. At first, you know, I'm a, uh, being a medic, when you see a red pedal bin, you fear. So I feared it really yesterday. When something dropped on top there, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. For those who are in medical field, a red pedal bin or a red waste uh, segregation bin means something containing blood, body parts, those things. Yeah. So. <laughs> Don't be a fool. So yeah, we are staying in antelope. This is antelope or a gazelle, a gazelle. And this is the room. Very nice. These are the single rooms. You see, it looks very nice, very clean. But we'll take you to the other self-contained rooms, which is 10 US dollars. 10 US dollars. So when you come this one, this way, this is the laundry area. Uh, you meet another balcony and then now you get your bathroom and your washroom here they're very clean i'm just from taking a shower and it's very good you see yes so that is that day guys so let's get ready let's go take antarctica for a quick service and then we're gonna see what is gonna happen from there yeah the plan initially of course was to was to go see people today but we'll see if we'll still get the time to go and see people today because we must see people around this area and then we proceed on to the next uh county isn't it yes so keep it locked guys and then we see what the outside world got for us can you like the video say something nice and wish keep the luck yes guys thank you what's up guys i'm outside and uh antarctica is here <laughs> Look at the nature of Antarctica. Look at that. Dirty, 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 dirty. Look at that all this much. I'm telling you, yesterday was crazy. Look at this. Just look at this. Look. We'll be up to this place. Hey, this was crazy. You see guys, so I'm supposed to give a very good watch. The chain is here, so the chain is loose, you see? So this is the reason as to why it used to come off. So yesterday it locked inside here, the second time. But anyway, that is this. That is that. Should be cleaned. Crazy, 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 crazy. Look at this. 
This is all mad. <laughs> hey, crazy. Anyway, let's remove all this and take Antarctica for some good servicing. Some good, uh, some good washing, some good uh, oil change and stuff. See? Even inside this car is crazy. Even here is crazy. But she tried, she no, no punctures. The advantage of this bike is it's, it's a tubeless. It's a tubeless tire, so it won't, it won't really... If it, it had a tube, it can easily get a puncture. But if it's tubeless, it's rare for it to get a puncture. And if it gets a puncture, you can still like uh, ride it like that way. So yeah, crazy. I don't even. I can't even explain how this got here. I can't explain how this got here. Even I remember seeing this on my gauge. I'm like, how did this flash get there? But it, it was just a good gun. All right, guys. So that is that. Let's get ready. Let's go wash her, and I guess she'll be fine. Yes. Hope no damages. Hope nothing weird is in it. Hope the sound is okay. Let's hear the engine sound. But I can feel it's just okay. At some point, I was like, is, is the light getting dim? Guys, let's go. Let's get ready. Let's take this. In, let's, let's take these things off. Put it on the house or in the room, and then we go do the necessary cleaning. So keep it locked. Yes. All right, guys, we have arrived here. Let this guy start washing it. After that, we can do the chain adjustments and then after that we'll after that we'll uh, we'll we'll see what we'll do next so yeah who wants that chicken sorry <laughs> sorry sorry for the extremeness yesterday that was crazy anyway we'll see you guys in a minute I don't know, should I remove some things from the trunk? I guess. Yeah. Well, let's remove, just in case. Okay. I turn to every video to a puppy dog. Coming through nicely now. Alright guys, uh, I've, I've identified some people who might really need our help, so I think we'll, we'll prepare them and then tomorrow we'll go see them in the morning, so we'll go tell them today that uh, tomorrow we'll come give them free checkup tomorrow, how we'll manage. But they seem to be a lot. They seem to be too much, a lot. But we'll go and we'll see together, guys. So for this, we'll go have a meal. 
go have a meal, do the service for the bike, and then go request for, tell them that we're gonna see them tomorrow. So that should be it. Anyway. Look at this overflowing. You know, it's currently raining so much in, I don't know, is it in Kenya or is it the whole world? Like, tragedy right now in Kenya. Which is floods and a lot of things, especially in the cities and many other places. Crazy floods. Look at this. This is so intense. This one can, can mean that maybe there's some... It's overflowing from some certain drainage systems or there's a certain river that has broke its bank, banks that is pushing it towards this place. This pressure is too much. Look. Okay. Anyway guys, that is it, that's okay. So let's wait for Antarctica to be cleaned. And uh, we're gonna see what next. I'm so hungry, we're gonna eat. And then we're gonna fix Antarctica. And then I've said it all. That is it, that should be it for today. And then tomorrow is ex exclusively seeing those people. So I know they'll say yes, because they, they are displaced people. They are displaced people. So it should be of really good help. We'll see, we'll see. So keep it locked. Alright guys, uh, Antarctica is clean, everything is good, let's have dry for a minute. At Rock Cabrera Music is coming out, you need to find another Rock Cabrera Music. But anyway guys, kindly subscribe to Rock Cabrera Music, go listen to some good Spanish music. Yes, so yeah, she's good. So what is remaining is uh, oil, uh, a chain adjustment. You do the chain adjustment and put oil on the chain. And then I was trying to find oil for the engine, but I can't find the gas station that I buy oil from. Total. I use Total oil, but I can't find good Total oil. Anyway, I want to have some meal over here. I just saw an hotel over here. I'm so hungry. Didn't have dinner yesterday. So let me have some meal here. And then we'll see what's gonna happen next. So just keep it locked, guys. Yes. Okay, I don't know. Torati. Okay, let's see what is there. Alright guys, uh, I just have some food here. Some wet beef stew. Some cabbage. And ugari. I know most of you know ugari. Ugari is... It's cornbread, but it's nothing like cornbread. It's just a mixture of flour and hot water. A mixed flour and hot water. To get this. Yes, and some soup over here. I wanted to get some natural juice, but apparently you can't get natural juice. I don't know if it is anywhere in the town, but I want some natural juice. Anyway, guys, that is it. Let me enjoy. Let's fill the meat. Tender meat. Okay. So basically what happens you just add, you just open the main nut of the wheel to loosen this and then you close. When you tighten this it pushes this back. When it pushes back it tightens the chain. Okay. I have to raise it for him. It's an okay neutral. We will put neutral for him to... Yeah. 
need the tomato for him to, to rotate the wheels. shop is selling the oil but I need original oil and I need good oil so I usually like buying it from the store itself, from the gas station itself so there's no good that gas station here anyway guys that is okay that is it so let's head on to the next point uh, where we are now closing the day let's go book an appointment to see these people tomorrow and that should be it so can you like the video whatever we are missing for Antarctica is oil change here but this, I can still reserve it for a minute. If I find a good, a good oil, I'll change it. If I don't, I'll return. I don't want to spoil my engine with bad oil. Yes, I have to find the original and good oil. Yes, guys, so that is it. I think it's time to go to this place and we close the day from there. So, thank you so much. Hit that like and say something nice. Hi, what's up beautiful people, we've arrived, we are here in Mogotio at this uh, area. So this is the area that will come tomorrow and give them a free checkup. Everybody, one of them is here. Say hello. Uh, say hello. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what's your name? My name is Dennis Ekru. Dennis Ekru. Yeah. Okay, you stay here. And stay your uh, IDPs. IDPs. Company. Since when? Since uh, 2014. IDPs means internally displaced people, guys. Right? So since 2014. No. Okay. And there are so many other people like him. Um, other people are two, two, eight, two, 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 eighty people. Uh, two eighty people. How are you? Yes, you are <laughs> two eighty people. Uh, two eighty people. <laughs> All right. So these people are internally displaced people. So tomorrow we we'll come and see them from around ten a.m. in the morning until later in the afternoon. Yes, and this guy is really, really on my case. I don't know what he wants. What do you want? And uh, um, make it to uh, to make the medicine. Uh, Huh? Yes. To to ona muskio kuparedio ni mbona mpuri. Tena taka haribu maneno sasa hivi wewe. Say what do you say what you want to say? Tomorrow will come there. Mm -hmm. do that. Alright, so so I don't know yet. Sawa. I come and see when you are na. Sawa sawa. Very good. When you meet up with Kakiti apa na ka apa na madawa, when you talk to Nekana, we are Very good. Yes. 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 Ah, titanus, 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 titanus,
so he's saying you come and help people, you help the community, you give the medicine for them to be okay. He's saying people, these people have suffered here for a very long time. We saw my car for 2014. So Kwanza 2014 mm. mm. okay. yeah. So since 2014 they've been, they've been uh, suffering, mm. but now they saying nobody is coming to help them. But anyway, all is good. Mita kujenga na saidi upande wa Afrika. Sasa, sasa wengine. Okay, guys. So that is it. Uh, some of them are. Some, some of them are some of drunk, are just talking like the, the the lady. But I know they need help, and you'll come and see them tomorrow. So these are displaced people. So see them tomorrow, guys. Keep it locked, and I hope you'll see Mr. Dennis. Dennis. So Dr. Nakesha Dennis. All right. All right. So that is it. See you all tomorrow. Okay. Pauline. Paulina Naudoy Longoria. Paulina Naudoy Longoria. Where is Rika Tena? Guys, this is Pauline Singeri. Pauline? Paulina Naudoy Longoria. Yes, that's her name. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Imagine. So she is quite old, guys. She is above 70 years. Her problem is only her pressure, but she is very okay. So you have advised her. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? So, so. She wants to remove it, but I don't want. Anyway, we're not taking Mazuri. So, so. Okay, that is her. She's very happy. Okay. So, you've given us some anti hypertensives. <laughs> anti hypertensives for <laughs> abdominal pressure. But she. she uh, Excitement was too much. She was even crying because of too much excitement. Hello. Uh, okay. Uh, mommy, we are seeing a number of people today. Okay. All right. What's up, guys? We are here in this community. I've been, I've been taking care of some people. Kabar Church. Express. Okay, I want. Well, same for ya. Nakupi ma badai. Nakupi ma badai. Oh, so you know Malizan. Ah, she is. Who's going to man? Eunice. So she's a Eunice Nyambura. She had a, some, she had a slight. Uh, her chest is quite congested. Mami, na pewe sa i tebe agoni sa i atawe kete na pewe sa atawe na kuona sa i atawe na pewe sa i. So, so mami, na kujevi kwa pewe dao. Oh, kuna dao na itaji. Alsa si kwa sa i alsa si kuna maji mingi tafa dal. Kama yikusumbui sana. Niko na kidogo sina dawa mingi. Yoko sema alsas, uya da sema alsas, uya da sema alsas. Azi nikikupea, ndenda hapa nimepea kila mutu. Sao sao? So ndapea mwenye na umuwa sana. Kama ule mamia likuwa na umuwa sana. Sao sao? Lakini wewe, chunga tu ile vitu. Kule vitu kuna au kali mingi. Sao? Aya sao. But neza kupa tu kama inakuwasha sayi. Kama ukofi inakuuma sayi. Neza kupa ya sayi. Kama sayi leo na kesho. Inakuuma sayi. Kwa hili? Okay. Uh huh. Ashi, so, as I'm leaving, yes. I want to do a push-up. Yes. So can you help me to... Like Two of these ones? Yes. <laughs> Why? 
Because I'm living. You're living. Yeah, I'm going there. Mm. Guys, she's a non-asthmatic and uh, her chest is quite congested a little bit. Uh, you want you to be wearing your jacket like this. If you wear your jacket like this, even if, even scarf, if you get a scarf, cover your neck. Funika shingo. So we have a bari di na ichipenda san. Bari kosa. If she has a sweater inside and she has this, but cover your neck. Try and cover your neck. So san. Put something on your neck. So guys, this is Kongato. Your Kongato. Okay, so guys, as you know that uh, when the age progresses, most people don't know their ages because of a lot of factors that I've once explained. They don't know the age because long time ago when you were born, nobody tells you the date of birth. So you just grow and you don't know. So she's complaining of chest area because of cold for a week now and she's coughing she's feeling her chest is quite congested normally she has no problem complaints of backache and uh, joints but this joints is probably because of the of the age so what we we'll listen do we we'll listen to her chest and then you get to evaluate the health of the chest so let's listen to her chest so what can you take you for so guys, Kongato is doing amazing. Her chest is okay, but the problem is cough. So you just give her cough syrup. Because she needs it. She's quite aged and uh, 
she's quite aged and she needs it because our main problem is the chest. See how she's coughing. So let's give her this. Let's give her this. Okay. So that's okay. Pogo? Pauline? Paulina Naudoi Longoria. Paulina Naudoi Longoria. Suwezi Suwezi Sirika tena. Suwezi Sirika tena. Guys, this is Pauline Singeri. Pauline? Paulina Naudoi Longoria. Yes, that's her name. Mwaza mwuko na miyaka ngapi? Sabini na? Sabini na karibu na nane. Na nane. Le saliwa 1947. Imagine. So she's quite old, guys. She's above 70 years. Her problem is only a pressure, but she's very okay. So you've advised her. Ini yako yaka nini pesa? Ha, ini yako. Sasa, she wants to remove it, but I don't want. Anyway, wei nakutakia mazuri. Sasa. Nasa hile ulisema hibi ya timparu mdogo. Najwe. Hei, wei ni mdogo. Unakaa mdogo. Na mwaka hiyo yote, mimi ya pati. Sasa, nuna munga mekujalia mambu. Maka mingi sana. Sasa. Okay, that is her. She is very happy. Okay. Bye, bye, mom. So you've given us some anti-hypertensives. Anti-hypertensives for abdominal pressure. But she, she uh, excitement was too much. She was even crying. Because of too much excitement. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, mommy. Guys, you are seeing a number of people today. Okay. Mambo. Muhammad. Okay guys, it's the men's time now. This is Mr. Muhammad. Uh -huh. Mr. Muhammad. She did go up, son. So lo melo nyira, boko na mepe ngapi na mepe. Sasa apa privacy meisha. Akuna akuna u akuna confidentiality amgonjo. Yes. Ni wote mna skedu kito na zema. So you are serious? So, okay, Mr. So, Mr. 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 Okay. So, Mr. Lomelo is complaining of chest pains. But it's because of cold and his chest is barely very open. So, I'm advising him to keep warm and uh, he should be good. So let's just check on his pressure, because, but he doesn't have any blood pressure problem. Okay. All right, guys, this is Mr. Etilich. Etilich is from this community. Complaining of a bit of back, backache, uh, no any other complaint. And uh, just checking on his blood pressure, and then we see if everything is okay, that's okay. But if if every, yeah, I mean, if everything is okay, we'll just give him some painkillers. But if we find a problem, we'll manage the cause. So that's Mr. Etilik from this particular community. Apparently, his blood pressure is very okay. So we'll just give him some painkillers for the backache and advise him on a bit of physical exercise and stuff. All right, guys. Michael Lotir. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is Mr. Michael Lotir. Yeah. Michael? He's 65 years old. He has no much complaints. Only complaints of some pain along along the neck region here, which is not, which is sometimes severe. We started one day after he woke up and he just felt like that. So I'm sure the muscle around that area is, was really straining because of maybe the position. But again, it will need a lot of physical exercise to make it okay. So I'm trying to advise Mr. Lo Ochir. Mr. Monito? Michael Lotir. Lotir. Yeah. So I'm trying. Anna. Anna Nani. 
Ana? Ana, lo kade dia. Lo kade Ana, apa yang dihitungnya Ana? Ia ingin dia mengkong kong. Sama sama. Kamu kena umur sana. Apa? Na umur? Na umur? Na umur? Na umur? Na apa? Ata ata mengkong. So she saying the the neck pain sometimes sometimes it doesn't. Okay. And the back and the back kick. Ah, what pita na? Kifu? The reason as to why she might be having that type of speech probably she has a stent. Oh, uh, ushai ushai fanya ushai fanya. Okay. Mguu na umapia. Complaining of legs. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh. She's the daughter. Uh, okay. Oni to nani? Mina ito Rael. Rael. Rael nani? Losike. Losike. So uni mamako. So she's the mother. Uh, so kwanza ni. So guys, her she's quite okay, but she's not really okay. She's quite an elderly. Her pressure seems to be very high and recognizable. The kid is the daughter is saying. I think all our problems is because of age. But I think she just needs some further review. If possible, she needs to go to a good hospital and good review done, good investigations done. But for us, we'll offer whatever we can offer. So that is it, guys. Hi. So she's complaining. Gogo, abai, uko salama. Nako. Oo ni to nani? Huh? Ni to nani? Ana. Ana. Ana losike. Ana lo? Losike. Losike. So guys, this is Ana losike. She's complaining of ears. Maske uchungu kama skio. Hmm. Ina uma? No, ina uma. Apa na uma uma? Apa na apa na apa na zike ya yo maneno? Hmm. So she's saying it, she doesn't hear a lot of things. Hmm. Aya kando na yo ni ningi ne? Magoti, iyo ni sawa. Aya, nini ingine? Ata, apa. Kifua? Apa. Nini nafanya hapo? Nadunga dunga? Kama ya nadunga dunga? Kama ya nadunga dunga ni baridi na zimbua. Sawa sawa? Ata hii masikio sa zingine, baridi kingia kwa masikio hivi tiiit, inafunga. Nathema kuiit. Eh, sasa hii ni baridi pia. Hahaha. Sasa hii ni cold. Sasa hii ni baridi, sawa sawa? So, so, una phone, una 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 Ah, sudah ingin ni untuk kami. Hmm, lagi ni saya dah nafau nak tumbuh kamera kuasa kita tu kifatan enam zuri. Lagi ni nafau nak jutung gawai kamera baridi. Nafau ini nafau kopi nafau ini. Nafau ini nafau zuri amas kio. Itu fanya di baridi singgi. Sawa sawa. Okay guys. I've been telling you to just keep our ears clean. Not clean, but kept from cold. Okay. I'm going to break it down. Yes. So, guys, they're saying they're really blessing us for coming to see them. And God bless us and give us more years and a lot of things so we've come here and we've developed a lot of people and a lot of people are feeling good now and are feeling nice now yes and this is them among the people living around this area this area is called Hema which means tents here in Mogotio town in Baringo County yes guys so hope we receive that blessings and we take it. So thank you so much to them. Okay guys, this is our last case around this particular area called Hema. And apparently I've been told this is not Baringo County. This is Nakuru County. 
because the border is just here, the river. <laughs> so it's just 100 meters. But they go to shop at Baringo County. So I'm going to Baringo County. Anyway, this is them. This is the area. This is called Hema. I'm going to go to the area. She's been here since 2017. That's seven years. So most people here have been here for more than five years. Isn't it? We're doing up make up as idea five years. So most people have been here for more than five years. So this area is for the displaced people. This is their way of living. They live in tents. But we'll see if we'll get an opportunity to get to one of the places. But let us finish her case here. So her name is Irene Jepkemoy. So her, she has this couple of wounds. She has this wound, this wound here, another wound here. This one, she had injuries. She said this one, some shoes cost this. This one, she said, Nil Savishai. Or plaster. She had a plaster after some fracture, and then it formed a blister and formed these wounds. And this one. She has not had tetanus. Musho kipo tetanus needing? Mokambil. Two years since tetanus. But you can get a miyamoja. Now, on 50. So, the one is going to get a so I'm telling her to at least look for a dollar to go have a tetanus injection because that will help her. So let's clean her legs and then that is it. Okay. I'm low dipping, I'm sure it's no hydrochlorothiazide. Uh, even as ended twice a day. It has ended twice a day. But it has a good one. 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 It has a 500. Now, guys, let's sort out her. How she's using metformin 500 milligrams. So, I'm going to say, what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? She's using metformin, but her sugars are not controlled. Sugars are not controlled. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to She did an RBS yesterday, it was 20. So, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Ah, she's supposed to go to the next one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, she's been on my case for the last like 30 minutes. So she's been requesting for an analgesic rub. So let's just give her one for herself. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, okay. She's asking if I'm going back. No, okay. All right, guys, we are done. That is it. Thank you. So, what's up, guys? We've been in this area, this area of um, Hema. Yeah, in. Apparently now I'm being told it's Baring, it's Nakuru County, it's not Nakuru County. And the, as you can see, this is their way of living. They stay in these tents. Eh, it's Janda. Come on, Ipe. They're reminding me that I'm leaving this. Okay. So basically, they stay in these Hemas, and they've been they've been here for more than seven years. Hemas, so basically, they put they put these papers. And they live inside so it's cold that's why you hear most of them complaining of cold and a lot of things so these are their structures this is where they live so it's quite very cold but i don't want to put them in a very tricky situation by filming too much but they are now all in their houses and uh <laughs> Okay, we got your So guys, yeah, that is it. That's basically how they survive here and they live here. So I saw it was really important for me to come and see them. So that is it. And thank you so much. It's been our time here. So hope they've enjoyed our services because they've really blessed us. They've given us a lot of blessings. And I hear more than 280 people stay in these tents and these households. So that is that, guys. Just pray for them that everything goes well and we've played our part in taking care of their health until next time it has been why not kid coming straight from this particular area i know you've not been seeing me all those minutes because i've I'd put my camera on my chest area so that is it that is done let's proceed to the next place and see you guys in the next video kindly hit that like comment say something nice share the video and if you want to support why not kid kindly feel free to support me and i really really appreciate it Yes, guys. So thank you until the next video. Adios muchachos. Believe in your dreams. Work hard towards your dreams. And God will come through for you guys. And that is it from me today. See you all in the next video. Adios muchachos. And peace. I cannot do this. Oh, I can do this. Peace. See you all.